Well, it's volunteering again with fans in the stadium this time. Bit of a strange night to do it on Monday, but we're there. And uh, it made a big difference having uh, 2,000 uh, fans in the stadium. Um, uh, the noise 2,000 people can make is quite incredible. Uh, and um, the rain held off. Um, it had a bit of a thunderstorm just before the gates opened and then it uh, eased off a little bit. Uh, uh, so um, it wasn't uh, a bad night and Saracens won as well. Uh, that's always a bonus, so they're now second in the table um, with one game in hand. So, fingers crossed, uh, they may be in the uh, playoffs. So, um, uh, for a chance that they uh, could be being uh, promoted um, back to the Premiership uh, for next season. Uh, so, what else has been happening? Um, <laughs> this evening, um, I had to go out uh, to uh, to get a little bit of extra shopping because for some reason I seem to be low on bread. I'm not quite sure why. I didn't, don't recall eating more than more more bread than normal. Um, but I um, I was a little bit delayed and it was a bit wet again, so I thought oh, I'll catch the buzz uh, on the way back. <laughs> A really nice bus driver called um, Nigel, who was keeping us well informed as to what was going on. Um, and every time somebody uh, got off, he'd thank them and wave goodbye to them. Um, so, surprised he didn't drive me right up to the door. So uh, I, I think Nigel um, was really, really, really enjoying his job as a bus driver. Um, it's nice when people enjoy uh, what they do for a living, isn't it? Um, yes, and, um, yeah, that's about it, really. So, uh, did the volunteer, doing some more volunteering as well on, um, uh, Saturday for uh, the women's game. And, um, and then another men's game on the, um, 29th. So, uh, I like buzzes. <laughs> Wait ages for a volunteering stint, and then three come along at once. Uh, so till next week, goodbye.